today we are going to go through how to do this kind of super cool typographic animation in Adobe After Effects. Series by Hulk 79. So let's go into a new composition. Here we have like a background made from a shape layer and this beautiful text set on time, Times New Roman bold italic. And the reason behind using a serif font here is because I love how these deformations fill with all the details that this kind of old-fashioned typefaces have. So that's why I'm not using a sans serif here. So let's go and select it and I'm going to align it to the left and to the top. And the next thing that we need let's, is in the effects and presets. I'm going after the CC repertoire and I'm going to throw it into this text layer here. So now I'm going to expand it to the right. And I'm going to start making this a little bit like the text size a little bit uh, smaller here with this parameter. I think that's about perfect. So yeah, that's it. Now we need some repetitions to the bottom to fill the frame so expand down uh, needs to be cranked up yeah that's fine so now I'm going to align it into the frame vertically just by eye I think that works fine so now I'm going to do the first part of the animation which is if I hit P, I'm going to separate the dimensions because I prefer in this case to work independently with X and Y parameters. And going into the beginning of the timeline, I'm going to create a keyframe for the X position. And you need to check or to, to see what the situation is here or the position of the E so that the lower serif here is hitting the side of the frame so if we go forward for example let's say this is going to the duration would be something like three seconds here I'm going to move to the left until I have exact the same position of the E here uh, maybe even it is better to have it so that it is a little bit earlier than here. Okay, that, that way the loop is going to work better, even better. And there is another trick uh, that consists on... I can click here on the Take Snapshot button and then if I go to the last or the second part where the loop resolves I can hit here in the show snapshot and I can see what was going on in the beginning so that's another way to do it so now that's good so let's close this a little bit the preview area and let's play it out and that works fine but we need to expand it to the right the repertile and now I'm going to check again if the loop is working properly. And I think that works like charm. So another trick is like in if I right click in the preview area here, the gray part of it, uh, I can make it a string come to the work area. And then this composition is going to have a duration of exactly the preview area. So next thing is going to be going into the effects and presets. Uh, we are going after the mesh warp effect, our loved, beloved mesh warp effect. And I'm going to throw it into the layer like 
so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to lower the columns to three for example because I want it to feel clean and nice and the rows uh, to one okay so I need to tell you that this effect is a little bit tricky in the way you handle it so the controls are here in the intersections so to say and then if you click them I'm going to zoom in you see that I can move them around and then also each control have two Bezier handles so I'm going to work with this so that I don't move it up and down I'm going to move it only laterally and you see that it is a little bit tricky and if the controls disappear you just need to select the effect and they are going to be there again so a little bit of patience because this is not the uh, easiest effect to handle but the results really worth the struggle so I'm going to select this one here and I'm going to zoom out and now with this selected maybe not that much if I move it with the cursor to the left while I hold on shift you see that this works very well I'm going to do the same with this one here I select it I hold on shift and I press the right cursor or arrow and you see that yeah this is a little bit extreme and there are some ugly stuff there is some ugly stuff happening around here but if I increase the quality here it is going to feel better okay obviously this is a bitmap effect so that that's coming with uh, some limitations so here for example in the middle this is a little bit too much I'm going to I'm going to move this to the left to open a little bit that part and this to the right and now I'm going to expand the bottom part selecting this and moving it to the left with the cursor while holding on shift I want it to feel a little bit like or yeah as symmetrical as possible so let's check this out and if your computer cannot handle this maybe you can lower the quality for to to check the animation and then you can uh, at the moment when you are happy with the results you can crank this up back to 10 and yeah that was that so the next thing that I did is just I just was playing with repetitions over repetition so that means or the process was as I throw this composition into the create new composition here I duplicated this and I was just dealing with yeah the size uh, how one can be on top of another one stuff like that also you can do other stuff like again I throw the main animation into the new create new composition uh, I can move the anchor point to the top just by selecting uh, the pan behind or anchor tool anchor point tool and moving it to the top while holding on control yeah that snaps it there so now I can uh, go to scale and check or unlink the two properties and this is going to be 50% that's nice I'm going to duplicate it and in the rotation I can make it uh, or yeah I can do it with a scale too so maybe it's like minus 100 here and after selecting it I'm going to align it to the bottom uh, yeah so that's nice so yeah that was that I mean this is a very basic technique but obviously uh, the result is visually very very interesting and striking so go there choose a nice typeface a nice typeface and have some fun I hope you enjoyed this tutorial excuse my voice and I'm not feeling very well today 
But yeah, that was that. See you in the next one. Kinetic Type Series by Hulk 79.